של האוגריינים. Good evening, people. Welcome to today's session. Tell me, how is everything today? Hi, teacher. Everything is good for me. <laughs> everything is good. All right. That's good. I think you are the only one available right now because, uh, as you can see, before Rafael's <laughs> Elizabeth's name, you can see the word listener. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> I'm checking I'm guessing, that. I'm guessing that they are not available right now, which is okay. I mean, uh, probably they are working. Yes. So tell me, Katya, how is everything with you? How are you today? How was, how was your day? And it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, that's the good. <laughs> it's Friday. Uh, it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> finally Friday. Well, for me, I'm good now. Uh, maybe I will take my my dinner. I don't know. I uh, know I'm hungry, <laughs> but I, I can. I can eat. <laughs> it's eight p.m. already. Yeah. <laughs> Because it, it, uh, it is normal to have dinner like around six thirty or seven p.m. Yeah, seven seven p.m. But, but this time is not really normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's late, but exactly. Today I arrived to my home. Uh, maybe more late than other days. My normal days. All right. Why? Yeah. Work, <laughs> work. We we made the decoration of the office. Uh, All right. Tonight, yeah, Christmas tonight. decoration. Tonight, yeah. All right, all right. We decorate. How, yeah, and decorate how the, the decoration. Beautiful. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. We we bought some things. Uh, new things, obviously. Uh, cause the old Christmas thing was damaged um ugly. <laughs> so we we bought we bought it. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it was was very yeah, cute no, no, no. and that's fine. And cute to to did that mm -hmm. to buy Christmas things. I love it. All right, yeah. I think it's a good it's a good uh thing that we have every year. I think it's the best the best season of the year. You know, uh, like colleagues get together to decorate. Families get together to spend time together, of course. Yeah. We eat together. We have a lot of food. We have a good time with everybody. So I think it's the best season of the year. Yeah. The and lights think, on the street. And <laughs> everybody is always waiting for, for that, you know? Yes. Yeah, yeah. parties, <laughs> meetings with yeah, friends. Yeah, it, there's, there's all of it. You know, family reunions, parties, uh, yeah. drinks, food. Chicken, <laughs> a lot of things, yes. Yeah, yeah. And we, we're gonna get there soon. We just we're just uh thirteen days away, because today the seventeenth. <laughs> just think about this, the seventeenth. We're just thirteen I days away hear. from 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 Christmas, from December. I mean, but not from Christmas, from from December. Yeah, the time flies. <laughs> really oh, flies. dear. We're almost there. It's it's really really uh surprising, fantastic. I don't know how to call it scary, because you know time is going really fast. Yeah. 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 I work nearly to Salvador del Mundo, eh, Plaza, <laughs> but this the ah you know about that that place, Salvador del A Mundo. A little bit. A little bit. Yes. Ah, okay. But I don't know if you have been the last years, the decoration of the Salvador del Mundo, eh, it's amazing. But this year, <laughs> I don't know, but it is not decorated. 
It's, it's not wait. decorated. Maybe no. they're gonna decorate it this coming week. I don't know, cause I I think it's the well, or oh, or oh, was the biggest tree, Christmas tree of El Salvador. I remember the the business that that put the the decorations begins to October. <laughs> yes. I understand. Mm. Yeah, but it, it you know, like in San Salvador, they have been doing a lot of things lately and uh they're been concentrating on other things, not on the Christmas decoration. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. I hope yeah. they're gonna start doing it soon. Over here in Sulutan, they usually decorate the whole uh not the whole city. It's rich. Mm. But they, they decorate the park. And uh, last year was kind of decent. It was not really spectacular. I mean, it was kind of good. It was decent. Let's see what happens this year. They haven't decorated anything yet. I have been to the park a couple of times, and they haven't done anything yet. Maybe in this coming week, they're going to start doing it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. For example, in our family, we have the, I don't know how to say, costumbre. I, I think that I forget that. Repeat, please. The custom, yes. <laughs> the tradition. Okay. Tradition. Uh, tradition, yeah. Uh -huh. yes. We have the tradition to decorate our home, but the last week of November and the first week of December. Yes. So next I week. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. So my, my, my house is a long of decoration now. <laughs> all right, all right. Hopefully you're going to decorate this year and it, it's going to look awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right. That's good. That's good. Yes. Let's see. Uh, it says uh, Stephanie that, that she eats or that she, she's used to eating at 8 p.m. No, that's too late. That <laughs> should eat earlier. Like, I was, today I was sleeping. Well, I, I take a nap every day, like around 4 p.m., from 4 to 6 p.m. Once I wake up like around 6 or 6.30 p.m., I go straight, straight straight to the kitchen to get some food and eat. I don't know. I, for some reason, I don't like to eat at 8 or uh, past that time. I don't feel comfortable. It's like like for me, if I don't eat at, at, at 6.30 or 7 p.m., I won't eat. Yes, I won't. It is weird. It is, it is more healthy. It early actually. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Yes, teacher. For example, ah, good good oh, evening. Yes, good evening. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Diego, for, for joining. If so, um, if you um take your breakfast, no, your sorry, dinner, your dinner. Uh, early, I think that you you sleep better. Yeah, you. I'm I'm guessing you sleep more comfortable. Yes. Yes. That's why. That, yes. Uh, if you if you eat a lot in the diner, um, or dinner, uh, I think that you are moving on your bed, thinking in all things, and I don't know. Maybe you can get sleep yes yes and i think the digestive process is faster you know yes because sometimes you sleep you, you sleep you eat too much a lot of things maybe some snacks or some dessert and your stomach looks big you feel full plus you drink water or you drink some something like 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 uh soda or juice and you feel like your stomach is big right so you feel you, you sleep uncomfortable, and if you if you eat early, your digestive uh, system processes food faster. All right. Let's see. All right. How oh, this is working right now? Okay. Very good. Let me see. Uh. Well. Diego, how, how are you today, by the way, Diego? How are you? How is everything? How is your, your Friday going? Fine, teacher. I did a lot of things. Now I'm fighting with my dog. 
Um, What's wrong with your dog? He's he's actually a a, a dog, <laughs> and he is biting me uh, all time. Oh no, I'm sorry. But how old, uh, how old is your dog? Is he small? Three three months. Oh, three months old. So it's small, a small dog. Yes, small dog. Yeah. All right. Listen. Yeah. And and today I went to the university to my last exposition. Presentation. To, yes, my last presentation on a assignment that is called uh, um security security. I don't know, but you can like tell security me management. No <laughs> okay. Este es seguridad operacional orientada en servicios terrestres y aéreos. And what are you studying? A, um, aeronautical engineer. Ah, oh, all right, all right. That's really awesome. That's really yes, awesome. Yes. And oh. was my last presentation, and I think that we did it good. It was not difficult because and the activity was that, that you you had to 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 watch a documentary um you um you had to to do a uh a, a model age fax and mm -hmm. a model shell those oh. two are models um that can help you to to um, recognize the the fails in an operation in specifically in um, human resources all right okay. yes and for example the h facts it's um uh, orientado i'm it's, sorry oriented oriented yes. It's oriented in um, a study, the organization, the supervisors, the pilots, and the old personnel that was involved directly or indirectly in the failure, in the incident or accident, it depends. And the other, the model shell, um, it it's an acronym, ac acronym, yes, acronym. Acronym, yes, acronym, it's yes. A, an acronym of um, software is a S H hardware E environment and L L it's library and library. Oh. And the, the, the indicators are, for example, library software, the relation about uh, between the relation between the, the person, the people with the software yes. next the, uh, with the software of of the, the the airplane or other kind of software for example if you are atc or uh, here air air traffic controller if you are an air traffic controller you have to to know a, about a lot of um, systems and if you if the system if the system fail for because you um you use it bad it's your fault but the 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 model has to um has to know what's the the, the correct fail if if you if you are the fail or if the software the fail this is the s and the h for example live work hardware e liveware environment and l liveware liveware the relation uh, between people with people all right but but uh do you find do you find that easy to understand or do you find it complicated um i i think I'm guessing, that... I'm guessing sorry i'm guessing that you you really like it if you like it you find it easy yes um but for example, I like the math, but not always the math is easy for me. 
Yeah. I really like, and I think that I'm not bad doing it or working on it, but sometimes the math can be really hard, really hard to know. But I like I like it, and this explanation was my part, only my part. But wow. the the principal um um case the main, was the uh, real case. the main case was a real case um about Boeing. If you I, I, I don't know if you know that Boeing made an airplane model called 737 Max and it has a failure in his um design that the airplane um in normal using mm -hmm. uh, solía o, o bueno tendía a levantar el morro I don't know how can I say that oh what's sorry I couldn't hear you because of my dog <laughs> okay eh, tendía a levantar el morro o a levantar la punta del avión it was sorry um the failure in the design was the airplane uh -huh. uh, turns up the, the 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 front part of the airplane oh, okay. Do you, uh, yes. Yes. and they don't notify it uh, notify this failure with uh, the FAA that is an authority in the Estados Unidos in US, the United States yes. the authority aviation no sé qué uh, <laughs> And um, it, it, they didn't notice it, this failure. And the other failure was that Boeing, to correct this problem, they wa they made a system, a software that yes. calls M MCAS, MCAS, MCAS. This software um, helped to turn down the, the front part of the airplane. And the the the, the pilots this uh, didn't know it, and the problem was when they they tried to fly with the airplane, to drive the airplane, the airplane uh, turned down in a in a turbulencia, turned turbulence down turbulence and, and in a turbulence the airplane turned down and they went directly to the ocean. In uh -huh. one case, or the the desert, the desert, desert, yes, yeah, desert, and this uh, those two problems um, uh, kill around four hundred people. Well, yes, twelve hundred. Uh, four four hundred. Oh, four hundred. Yes, 400, 400 personas. Uh, almost, people. casi, casi, casi. Almost, uh, almost 200 per accident. Wow. And it was, was, a, was a big mistake. And the activity was to, to, to make an, an investigation about that and um, apply the knowledge uh, that we are receiving in class. I understand what you're saying. Wow, it sounds like what? a very complicated thing, you know. <laughs> I, I find it very complicated. No, but it's really good. It's really good, especially when you are watching uh, or you are um, um, getting information about the the co corrupt, corrupt, uh, corruption, the corruption. Corruption? The corruption, yes, between Boeing and the other authorities, that they only uh, wanted to make money, exactly. but the security wasn't a priority. Yes, this is, this just came up with the idea of uh, of well, the sketch was of an airplane, but they didn't really pay attention to the quality of the thing. You know, they just wanted the money, and they didn't really care about the. The, the side effects or the the consequences or the possible problems that it would give them. 
So, and that, that conducted to a fatal accident. Wow. I'm surprised. Yes. Us. If you want to see it, um, you you can um looking for information in Google, searching um the problem with Boeing seven three seven Max. Boeing, you say? Uh, Boeing. It's a, it's it it's spelled a uh, B O E E B O E. Bo I N G. Boeing. All right. Seven three seven Max. Wow. And this is this this was my 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 topic, but the other groups have another uh, topics. Yes, I understand. All right. Oh, well, sounds like a very interesting thing and complicated at the same time. I find it complicated because it is not my career. It's not what I really like. You know, I prefer to teach. If you like that, that, that is good. I respect it. That's awesome. Yes. Learning how to about airplanes, about aviation is a challenge for a lot of people because it's a complicated matter. Yeah, it's a very complicated thing. You have to yes. know a lot of, you have to know about, about many, many uh, things, you know, especially mathematics and I'm really not good at it. <laughs> for example if you 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 finish your career and you get your title mm -hmm. you're great if you want to specialize something in uh, in aeronautic um you can choose one of 100 different um uh, specializations because there are 100 systems in aeronautics that you can know but you 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 can't know that because it's a lot of information oh, for example you can in, in your life you can know like two or three but it's really expensive the knowledge that uh, yeah, exists in, in that in that um i don't know Area? Area, yes, area. Field. Field. Yes. Wow, wow. What well, you're telling me sounds very complicated. Uh, like I said, if you like it, it's all, it is awesome. Yes, you have to continue learning the area. You gotta read, uh, watch videos, uh, do some research, a lot of research, learn more. And, uh, well, I just wish you the best, all right? I just wish you the best. People, Thank you for joining. Uh, I see some listeners. Uh, let me see. Well, Magdiel, welcome. Luis Mauricio, Raul, Stephanie, Carla, Ronald, Mauricio, Mario, Eric, Katia, Rafael, Emerson. People, thank you for joining today's session, Friday's session. Yes, this one is a special. <laughs> you already know why it is a special, right? Because tomorrow, yay. Tomorrow we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna have a party. <laughs> well, I'm, if you're working, I'm sorry. All right, I'm not working tomorrow. If you're working tomorrow, I'm sorry. Well, Mauricio, I'm sorry. You're working, working tomorrow, and I don't know about the other ones. Yes. Uh, let me see. Let me just confirm who are going to be available. Emerson, Magdiel, are you guys there? Eric. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> all right. Sure, I'm here. Excellent, excellent, Eric. Magdil, what about hello. you? Hello, good evening, teacher. I I available, but um, I had an emergency. I had to carry my 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 vecino, como se dice? neighbors neighbors yeah. baby to uh, hospital. Oh, all right. Yeah, the, yeah but like now I, I wait. I wait for them outside of the hospital. Oh, all right, all right, okay, that's okay. Well, yeah. I hope the the baby is okay. The baby is fine. Yeah, but right, I am right. available for for now. Okay, thank you, thank you for letting me know. Yes, uh, Mauricio, what about you? I think I read a message uh, uh, from you in the WhatsApp group. Oh yes, I I can't speak a lot because I feel sick. But 
our, our listener. All right, all right. But we're not going to speak that much, okay? Don't don't worry about it. Take it easy, all right? Thanks. We're going to read a couple of things, and uh, it's more like practice today. So we're going to practice some things today. We're going to start by doing uh, the first activity. Well, no, the first thing to do is the attendance. <laughs> Sorry, before I forget, let me do that. Uh, Diego Jose Benitez Leiva. Present, sure. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Lopez. Present. Thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here present. Thank you very much. Let me just do some over here. Let's see, let's see. Ulysses Amilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher for the moment, only as a listener, but I'm here. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know about that. Please, Javier Castillo. Let me see. Mag uh, Magdiel Saúl Garcia Morales. Present. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you, Marily Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'll be here. Thank you, Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. And uh, Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. Present. I am here. This uh, says Raul. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, we're gonna start with the first activity. We're gonna take a couple of minutes doing that activity. Let me see. Let me share that this to you right now. Okay, as I told you, this is today is Friday. It's class number fourteen, and uh, I I'm not sure. I think I think you guys uh read the message that a person sent to the group about the platform and the activities that are on the platform. Uh, the person was saying that today is the last day, so you guys need to work on the platform by tomorrow morning, or you gotta do it tomorrow morning. I'm not working tomorrow morning, so I will be checking uh, your progress in the morning, all right, in the morning. Uh, and uh, on Monday, we're going to finish the, the third week, the third week. So on Tuesday, from Tuesday on, we're going to start working with the section three or on the section number three or unit number three. Yes. And in the last uh, week, that means week number five, we are going to start working on section number four and also the, the final exam. All right. So, guys, after today's session, I recommend you guys going to the platform and work on the on the activities. Yes. And uh, try to finish them all by tomorrow morning before 8 a.m. Because I will be checking around 9.30. No, before 9.30. I got to check that uh, before, before early at 8.30. Because uh, I gotta update uh, the information and send it. Yes. All right. The first activity that we're gonna do is this one. It says there breakout room activity, but we're not going to do it in the breakout rooms. We're gonna do it right here, and it is going to be individually. Yes. It says it says here provide tips related to return policies when shopping online. So I need everybody individually, of course, to think of two tips. Only two. I need you guys to think of two tips that you can give or tell a person 
about return policies when shopping online. What the people have to do for uh well, to return policies when shopping online. Two tips. Read it again. Provide tips related to return policies when shopping online. I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is for customers when they want to return a product. Yes, or but it's still when shopping online. All right. So two tips. Two tips. Let's begin right now. Let me give you from four to five minutes. Let me just uh, set it up right now real quick. Let me see the time. It is here. Go. Two tips. Everybody, everybody. And then you will share them.
a few seconds before, a few seconds, a few seconds left. All right, time's up. Let's start sharing the, the tips. Let's begin. Who wants to start, a volunteer, to share the tips? See everybody. All right, guys, let's begin sharing the tips. Hello. Okay, teacher. <laughs> I I can bring some. Uh, for me, uh, the first is read the return policies about the terms and conditions if the product or the service have, has. And second, for example, read how long it will take to receive the refund if they have that in the business uh, policy. And my third will be Take a real evidence about the bad product or the damage about damage of the product and keep the original uh, packaging pack packaging pack <laughs> thank packaging. you packaging 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 okay thank you all right for thank me you, Katia, for, thank you Katia, for sharing your your tips good ones good ones thank you. Let's see. I think Emerson was about to share his uh his tips. Emerson, well, uh, can you hear me now? Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me clearly? I can now. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I was thinking about to when you're doing a, a online purchase that the by an intermediary, for example, uh, it could be AliExpress, that when you do the payment, AliExpress uh, do, uh, don't, uh, don't give all the money to the seller until the buyer receives the, the purchase. So the, so the buyer can confirm to or receive the purchase, then AliExpress uh, unlock the payment and and give it to the seller all right do you have another one no only that one only that one okay all right thank you for sharing it good one good one as well let's continue thank you Katia and all right mcgill yes uh... Okay, electric spark doesn't have return. The this is the first one. Yes. And repeat second it, one. Repeat it. Repeat it. Didn't quite get it. Okay, electric spark spurs uh, doesn't have a return. Electric what? Sorry. Spurs. Spurs. Oh, yeah. Spares. Yeah, spares parts. Okay, what is the other one? The other one is 
to return the product must be clean in good condition. Mm. And uh, the other one, the last one, it doesn't accept returns out, out of the time indicated. indicated. Okay. It doesn't accept returns out of the time indicated. All right. It's okay, teacher. Yes. Yes, of course. Okay. I only All right. have three. Okay. Thank you, Miguel, for for sharing your your tips. Let's okay. see what let's see what we have uh, from uh, from Diego from Eric. Nothing. Um, maybe teacher. Uh, try to get all evidences that the failure or wherever you want to report if it case you want to return your package yes. and they, they, they have to be convinced because um, if you say I don't want this shirt because um, I don't know. Um, it was. It it had a. No, it has a a hole, a big hole. You. You have to to. To to prove that. I I think I don't know how can I say that, but I think that you understand. Oh. And uh, another another thing that is easier for example if you buy a shirt and you are ill and the shirt is m for example and you want to return this because you want another shirt in l size yes yes another um don't um remove the 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 vignettas the tag the the tag the tag yeah. um for for the product whatever if it is clothes shoes or on a, or another one because in some places if you want to return that you uh, you don't have to 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 remove that because it's a it's a it's a common policy in like all um all places all stores okay okay very good very good we have more no all right what did you say i just got did you say vignetta or or etiqueta A viñeta. Okay, then La, it's bueno. tag. tag is different. Tag is, is the, 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 the like for you. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. I was telling you the tag is where you put the, the, the name and the price. That is tag. Uh, the, the, how do you call it in Spanish? Etiqueta, yes. And the other thing that goes over here, uh, the shirts or shoes, strip. That's what it is. Strip. I got, I got confused. Sorry. <laughs> yes. I got confused. All right. All right. It says here uh, define the expected condition of returns. When communicating return policy, clearly state the condition. A product must be in for a return. All right. All right. That's a good one, too. Thank you for sharing it, Mario. Even though you cannot speak, you're sharing it through the chat. That is awesome. Let me see what we get from Eric. If he's there, Eric, do you have anything? Yes, but I only made one. 
You can what, sorry? I only have a one. Uh, okay, don't worry. Share it. I didn't have another idea. It's okay. Um, is respect the warranty time provided from the purchase if the product has a defect. Okay, that's that's like the most common one and that we need we need to follow it, yes. Sometimes we don't respect that and we just want our things uh our money back or a refund or a return or a change a product change. And uh it is not possible. We gotta deal with the with the how do you call it? With the time, the warranty time, respect it, yes. All yes. right. Let's continue with the next activity or the following activity. This one is quite uh, not quite uh it's not difficult. The thing is that it will take a couple of time a couple of minutes or a few minutes to to complete. Where is it? Wait. Oh. There you go. Yes. I came up with a conversation this one. We're going to practice this conversation. Uh I came up with it and in this conversation, you're gonna find many examples uh, with report speech or report speech being used. Right? It's a conversation, and down there, there's an activity about this conversation that we need to do. All right. Uh, let's see. I can read it to you guys, and if you guys have any uh, questions about the vocabulary after I'm done reading, you can ask me, and I can give you uh, the answer or clear your confusion. It's a conversation between my friend Ulysses and uh, of course me. I'm there, you can see it. All right, it says there, hey Mauricio, can you tell me what was said at the, at the meeting? Hold on. At the meeting, I couldn't attend due to a family emergency. You didn't miss much, miss much. A lot was said though, they said that we needed to keep our our offices clean. We do clean the, the uh, we do the cleaning twice a day. Exactly. They wanted to know if we had any damaged equipment. Speaking of that, I do. My scanner is running slow. They gave us instructions for that too. They recommended us to send a written notification to the IT department attaching photos of the damaged equipment. I will do so as soon as possible. I hope to get a newer version of it. They told us that we had to wait a, a few weeks to get a response from the, IT from the IT department. They informed us that we would go to a seminar within three months. Another one? What about, the ne what about next month seminar? Oh, about that, they told us to choose which seminar we would want to attend. I get it. What else was said? Bringing the office matter back, the reason they said that we should have our offices clean is because a few weeks ago, we had a visitor and this person sent a report about filthy offices. Filthy offices, yes, it is spelled correctly. Filthy offices to the hygiene team. Did they say whose office it was? No, they kept it anonymously. I see. They suggested that we should go back to arriving early since many of us have become latecomers. I am. Yeah, that, that's a mistake right there. How do you edit this? I am one, all right? I am one of them. One is missing. I am one of them. Then you should start checking in earlier for from tomorrow on. They said that if we kept coming late, we would probably get a notified warning. So they're getting serious about that. Oh, here comes the boss. Talk to you later. Thanks for the news. Bye. Bye. There you go. Questions about the vocabulary. No questions, people? A no. knee -wer, what does it mean that, teacher? Which one? Knee-wer. I hope it? to get 
I hope to get a newer version of it. Newer. Newer. Oh, it's the same as new. New is the word new, but newer is like, uh, do you know what more is? More? Mm -hmm. Okay, this that is the, the, the ER. Uh, the, I get it, I get it. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, recent. Newer. I'm helping you out in the chat, all right? For you to get it. Newer. Okay, oh, I well, get it. Let, sure. let me give you an example. For example, I have the iPhone 11. And uh, if I want to get a newer, newer version, it would be iPhone 12. That's a newer than iPhone 11, right? Yes. The newest, okay. the newest version is the Good iPhone. Days. Yes, exactly. Okay, I get it. All right. Yes, that's what it is. More questions? More questions about the vocabulary? No. Okay. Very good. Now. We are going to practice the ones that are available for participation are going to do it. Let me start and then I'm going to uh, send you to the breakout rooms to do the exercises. Let's see. I want to hear uh, Katia and Emerson. You both. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay Katia uh, is okay. releases. Yes, okay. you're least, <laughs> and Emerson <laughs> is Mauricio. Okay. Hey, Mauricio, can you tell me what was said at the meeting? I couldn't attend due to a family emergency. You didn't miss much. A lot was said, though. They said that we needed to keep our offices clean. We do the cleaning twice a day. Exactly. They wanted to know if we have any damaged equipment. Speaking of that, I do. My scanner is running slowly. They gave us instructions for that too. They recommend us to send a written notification to the IT department attaching photos of the damaged equipment. I will do so as soon as possible. I hope to get a newer version of it. They told us that we had to wait a few weeks to get a response from the IT department. They informed us that we would go to a seminar with three, within three months. Another one? What about the next month's seminar? Oh, about that. They told us to choose which seminar we would want to attend. I get it. What else was said? Bringing the office matter back. The reason they said that we should have our offices clean is because a few weeks ago, we had a visitor and this person sent a report about filthy offices to the IG team. Did I, uh, did I say whose uh, office it was? No, they keep it anonymously. I see. They suggested that we should go back to arriving early since many of us have become latecomers. I am of them. I'm one. I'm one of them. I am. Oh. I am. I am one of them. Ah, I am of them. Okay, thank you. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can. This one right here. I am. Okay. Then you should start checking in early from tomorrow on. They said that if we keep coming late, we will probably get a notified warning. So they are getting serious about that. Oh, here comes the bus. Talk to you later. Just for the news. Bye. Bye. All right, thank you both for participating. And uh, this part right here, down here, I am of them. That is not correct. 
uh, I don't know how I omitted one. I am one of them is the correct one right there, this one. Not I'm of them. I cannot erase it there. I don't know how to erase it. Let me just select it. That it is not really correct. All right. Cool. Let's see. Let me choose two more people to practice it. We're not going to do the switching because we got more things to do. Let's see the the other couple right here. All right. Let me see, Magdiel, can you help us? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Let me see. Luis Javier, are you available right now? Mauricio, do you want to try? Sorry. Do you want to try? Yes, I can. All right. Okay, Mauricio is Mauricio, right? <laughs> My deal is, is Ulysses. No, I want to be Ulysses. No. Okay, that's okay. No, no problem, no problem. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> oh, well, uh, Ulysses. Ahead. Hey, Mauricio, yeah. can you... Tell me what I'd say what was said at the meeting. I couldn't attempt it due to family emergency. You didn't miss much. A lot was said. Thought they said that we needed to keep our office clean. We do cleaning twice a day. Exactly. They wanted to know if we had any damage equipment. Speaking of that, I do my, my car and it's running, it's running slowly. They gave us instruction for that too. They recommended us to send a writing, writing notification to the ET department attached, attaching photos of the damaged equipment. I will do uh, as soon as possible. I hope to get a never version of it. They told us that we had a, that wait a few weeks to get a response from the ET department. They, they informed us that we would go to the uh, seminar within three months. Another one, what about next month seminar? Oh, about that, they told us to choose which seminar we would want to attend. I get it. What else was said? Breaking the office matter back. The reason they said that we should have our offices clean is because a few weeks ago we had a visitor. And Sophia! And this person uh, sent a report about the 15 offices the, to the Asian team. Did they say who office it was? No, they keep it uh, anonymously. I see. They suggested that was should got back to arriving early since many of us have become later comers. I am one of them. One of them. Then you should start checking in the earlier from tomorrow on. They said that if we keep we keep coming late. We would uh, we would probably get a notice a notice warning. So they are getting serious about that. Oh, here is coming the boss. Talk to you later. Thank for the news. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you, Mauricio and Ulysses, <laughs> for your participation. Excellent. Awesome. And uh, the other ones that are available, Eric and Diego, guys, your turn. Sure, teacher. Um, who first? Okay, Eric is Ulysses and Diego is Mauricio. 
Sure. Okay. Hey, Mauricio, can you tell me what was said at the meeting? I couldn't attend due to a family, a family emergency. You didn't miss much. A lot was said, thought. They said that we needed to keep our offices clean. We do the cleaning twice a day. Exactly. They wanted to know if we have any damaged equipment. Speaking of that, I do. My scanner is running slowly. They gave, a, they gave us instructions for that, too. They recommended us to send a writing notification to the IT apart department attaching photos of the damaged equipment. I will do so. So as soon as possible, I hope to to get a newer version of it. They told us that we have to wait a few weeks to get a response from the IT department. They informed us that we would go to a seminar within three months. Another one. What about next month seminar? Oh, oh, all that. They told us to choose which seminar we would want to attend. I get it. What else was said? Bringing the office matter back. The reason they said that we should have our offices clean is because a few weeks ago we had a visitor on this person sent, and this person sent a report about file filthy offices to the Eugene team. Did they did they say whose office it was? No, they kept kept it anonymously. I see. They suggested that we should go back to arriving early since many of us have become late comers. I'm one of them. Then you should start checking in earlier from tomorrow on. They said that, that if we kept coming late, we will probably get a notified warning. So they're getting serious about that. Oh, here comes the boss. Talk to talk to you later. Thank you for the new the news. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, let me help you out with some vocabulary, excuse me, some pronunciation uh, problems that you had. The word over here, the verb is said, not said, said. I, in Spanish will be S-E-D, said, said. All right. The word, the verb is say. This one uh, usually gives students or English learners a lot of problems when uh, when it comes to pronunciation. Look at this one. Because the pronunciation in the three forms are, uh, well, four forms are different. This one is, uh, the past participle is the same. This one said, said. All right. And the base form or the original, original verb is say, say. With the S, I do not know the reason, but the pronunciation is says. It is not says, it is says, says, all right, with the X. In the past form and uh, past participle form two, we pronounce it as said, said, and the ING form say, all right? Be careful about, about those ones. They are confusing. Let me continue right here with uh, another one. Emergency, we got an emergency. Which one was the other one that we had issues with? Oh, equipment. Equip. You gotta pronounce the P, equipment. Damaged equipment, right? Uh, I don't know who, but somebody, somebody mispronounced that this word is written. Written, 
You can say written, no problem, but I suggest saying written or pronounce it, the word as written, written. I know it is hard to pronounce it like that, but it is the most uh, American way you can get. That's the most American you can get uh, or more native. The most native you can get is written. Attaching, do you know what attaching is? You didn't ask me about this one. Attaching, do you know what this is? Anyone? Not the chart, the last, please. Okay, attaching is when you are including, including uh, any documents or pictures or videos. It can be Word documents, PDF documents, photos, videos, and even uh, tracks, songs, or music, or audios. You attach them to an email, all right, or to anything you send. If you send a package, or excuse me, if you send an envelope or, or something, a document to a place, you attach. It means you include. The word in Spanish is adjuntar. Yes, adjuntando photos of the damaged equipment. That's attaching, all right? Yes. Let me see what else uh, we got over here, down here. Response, the IT department informed us. Oh, now we got that one. Uh, what was the other one? Anonymous teacher. Anonymously. 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 Yes. Anonymously. Anonymous. Okay. Oh, this one is filthy. Filthy. Filthy is the same as dirty. Dirty. Sucio. Dirty. Filthy. Filthy offices, dirty offices. Hygiene, higiene. Hygiene. Right? Hygiene. Let me see down here. Late commerce. Do you know what late commerce are? No. No? I don't believe you. <laughs> It's a person, a person that arrives arrives late. Arrives late every day. <laughs> yes. Uh, always with a word to use the uh, impuntar, right? Tar tardista? No, right? That doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't exist, right? But I will be like impuntual, late common. Yes. I think this, this is all Salvadorians. We are like that. <laughs> We're late comers. It's like a tradition or, or part of us, you know, that we always arrive late to a place. Oh, what else? Checking early, we said that. Oh, this one, you were mispronouncing it as well as this one. The verb is keep. Keep is the verb. Double E. Double E. The same pronunciation as the verb sleep. Sleep, keep. All right, sleep in the past form is left, slept. The same happens with the pronunciation of the verb in the past form, kept, kept, all right? So no, they kept it anonymously, kept, not keep, all right? Keep is the base form, the same as sleep. Yes. So be careful about that one too. So getting serious about that, oh, okay, we got it, we got it. Now, we're going to continue down here. We're going to work with the difficult part. It says there, read the activity, read the conversation again, and find all the reported sentences in it. Once you have or you've identified them, put them back into the direct speech structure. So we're not going to do what we have been doing, okay? Remember, what we have do been doing is this. I give you the direct speech. This is indirect over there, but you're okay. I made a mistake there. <laughs> Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Yeah, I just noticed that I made a mistake over there. Uh, what I meant to say is, what I meant to say is, wait. I can erase that. Here, just the first part. All of it. 
better. All right. Indirect is reported speech the same. All right. What I meant here is direct speech, direct speech, or the ori original sentence. All right. So we're not going to do what we have been doing. Okay. So I'm going to help you out with uh, with identification of the of the sentences right now, so that we can just work on changing them back to their original form. The first one that we can find out up here is. Uh, let me see. Can you help me? Well, uh, can you tell me what was at the meeting? No. Okay, we got nothing over there. All right, over here. This is the first one that we have. They said, okay, this is report speech. They said that we needed to keep our offices clean. That is our first reported speech sample. So you have to put this example into the original form. All right. Yes. Another one, uh, we do the cleaning twice a day. No, that one, no, it's, it's, it's okay. They wanted to know, okay, another one over here. They wanted to know if we had any damaged equipment. Yes. All right, let's see. Speaking of that, I do. My scanner is running slowly. No. Okay, they gave us instructions for that too. No. They recommended us to send. Look, to send a read notification to the IT department, attaching all of it is, is an example. I will do so as soon as possible. No, uh, they told us that we had to wait a few weeks to get a response from the IT department. It's an example as well, a report speech. They informed us, they informed us that we would go to a seminar within three months is also an example of report speech. Let me see, anyone, another one, what about next month's seminar? No, How about that, they told, okay. They told us to choose which seminar we would want to go or attend. Another example, bring in the obvious, the reason why they said that you know, okay, no, that one, no. Okay, the other one is they suggested that we, sh we should go back to arriving early since many of us have become latecomers. That's another example. Let me. And uh, that's the last one, I think. They said that he. Okay, this is the other one. And this is the last one. They said that if we kept coming late, we would probably get a notified warning. So how many examples do we have? Let me uh, count them down. One, two, or one, two, three, four, no, three, right? Four, five, six, and uh, eight. We have eight examples, eight examples that we are going to switch from the reported speech structure back to the direct speech structure. Let me help you out with the first one, all right? In that way, you can see how, how this goes. The first one would go or goes like this. They, it says there, they said that we needed to keep our offices clean. Look, that's it. That's all you're gonna do. You need to keep your offices clean. That's what you're going to do. You're going to change them to the ori original form. Let's see, let me see. Change the color. No, no I don't like it. Uh, the, the... That's this one okay guys questions about this about the activity yes teacher for example with the next one it is for example um we have any damage to keep equipment no no mm. 
I think, li listen to this. Let me tell you. Every sentence is going to go with you. You. Because it was a meeting. And everything and everything was informed from a person. And the person was saying, you, 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 you. Right? So all the sentences have to go with you. Yes. You have... But no, no. L look at the structure. We use if. We use if only when we are talking about yes, no questions. So this one is a question. Uh, do you have? I'm sorry? Do you have any damage to keep the equipment? Exactly. That's how it goes. Do you have any? Excuse me. There you go. Do you have any damaged equipment? That is the or the, the direct speech sentence or question question, excuse me. <clears throat> we put it down here. Okay, very good. Let's see. The other one is it is easy. The thing is that the sentence is very long, but what you're gonna change is it's very easy. Not complicated at all. Take your time, take your time and let me know. I'm here. I put it down. The third one. Yes, tell me. Um, could be, they recommend to send a written notification. They what, sorry? They recommend. Or I don't know. They they recommend or they recommend us. Yes, the same. This time. one is this one is the same. Yeah. But I I would say I recommend you. Because mm -hmm. the person was talking. Remember, remember. I recommend you send to send a notification because the person was talking to people in the meeting. Mm, okay. Yeah, you, I, I, I thought it was all of them were with you, but no. Yeah, no, no. You have to understand the context. So I recommend you to to send a a written notification. Mm -hmm. To the IT department. Okay, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. It's it's a very long sentence. It won't fit. It is not going to fit. I recommend you to send a written notification to the IT department. Yes. Okay, now, are you sure it is like this one? <clears throat> <clears throat> wow. All right, the next one. They told us that we had to wait a few weeks to get a response from the IT department. And we have another one. It says they informed us that we would go to a seminar within three months. Let's try the first one up here and the second one is gonna go down there. Take your time, it's okay.
Guys, you got it? It's okay, it's okay. I know it is difficult. You have to wait a few weeks to get a response from the IT department. You have to wait a few weeks. A few to weeks get, to get a response from the IT department. To get a response from the IT. Oops. Okay. Yes, it is correct. You have to wait a couple of weeks or a few weeks to get a response from the IT department. The next one. The next one is they informed us that we would go to a seminar within three months. Okay, it's okay. Take your time. Guys, you got it? Hello, anyone? They say that we have to wait. Oh, is it, that's is it the second one. Yes, they informed us that we that we would go to a seminar within three months. So I informed that I informed you that you you will go to a seminar. You you kind of getting there, kind of getting there, but not I. No. We start the sentence with you 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 will go to a seminar. Within three That's how it goes. You will go to a seminar within three months. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you. The other one is they told us we're missing three. They told us to choose which seminar we would want to attend.
All right, tell me. Guys, ready? Uh, they said to choose which seminar we will want to attend. Choose. They said to choose which seminar we 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 oh, want that, to that, attend. That's not the direct speech. Because yeah. you remember, if you say if you say they said, it means you're reporting, and we're not reporting right now. Because the reported sentence is right there. They told us to choose. That's the re that is the reported sentence. So so it would be, uh, he say. No, still reporting. Mm. Guys, anyone? Think. Or if you want, you can go back and you can find the information in the book. I don't know which page it is, but the information is there. How to 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 deal with these ones, the ones that go with this structure, it's in the book. People, no ideas. You will? Huh? No. Let me help you out. Let me help you, you out by, by going going back to the book. I'm not going to tell you directly. Maybe you have to choose. No. No. no it doesn't you will? Matter. You will? No, wait. It is not here. It is all the way over here. There you go. Do you see it now? You. Yes. It says there. You should. Uh, uh, wait, uh, a sentence expressing a command where a sentence expressing a command request, advice, or suggestion is called an imperative sentence. How do you make an imperative se sentence? Well, you basically do it like this. Never copy. That's it. Or never give up. Or act with passion. 
or what my mom says, drive, drive safely, eat well. Yes, those are the commands or imperatives. And we have an example in the back here. Let me show it to you. It is this one. They recommended us to send a written notification to the IT department. Maybe this was said in two different ways. Maybe the person said, I recommend you to send a written notification to the IT department. Maybe. But I think the person said uh, or expressed a command, send a written notification to the IT department. Yes. So how would you make the next one? They told us to choose which seminar we would want to attend. Let me help you out. Choose which seminar you will want to attend. That's how it goes. And that is a command or that is an imperative. So remember, the imperative does not take a subject. Only the verb and the complement of the verb. Let's continue with the last ones. They suggested that we should go back to arriving early since many of us have become late comers. What do you think about this one? How do you think it goes? How do you think it goes? Yes, tell me. Could be yes. if we if we keep not kept, not keep. K E E P. Oh, that that one. Sorry, I was reading this one. Repeat it. We we will go back. We will have. We have to come arriving. Arrive early. Um, no, <laughs> no, oh, God. <laughs> sorry. Remember, the person is talking, so the person probably say you, uh huh, you have to. You have to. Yeah, you have to. Mm. Okay. You have to. Arrive. Early. Arrive. Oops. You have to arrive earlier. Uh-huh. Since many of us have come late commerce. Mm -hmm. What you said, the sentence that you have said is correct, but I don't think that's the direct sentence the person was saying or the person said. Yes. Uh, remember, uh, the structures have to be similar. They have to be similar. We are not supposed to change uh, significant parts, only the structure of the verbs. 
So early is correct right there. We keep it early. We keep arriving. And uh, we are not supposed to change this. It has to be you should go back. Back to arriving. Is the only thing that we're going to change right here is the subject. Because up here in the reported sentence, we have we. But the person didn't did not say we. The person said you because it was a meeting. You, you should go back to arriving early since many of you, since many of you have become late comers with S. Late comers. All right. Yes. Uh, let me see if I can show you this one because we didn't see this one, right? We do, we should report speech reports speech with should. It it doesn't change. This one is the same. It doesn't change. Let me show you right now. I got it over here. I can show it to you. Okay. I hope you can see it. Can you see it? Yes. Look at this. That in the direct speech, if the person says, I should call my mother, should, using should, you are not going to change anything in the sentence. What you are going to change is the verb say, tell, inform, mention, suggest, recommend into the past form. Over here, she said, if you want to use that, of course, you can use it or not. She said she should call her mother. And of course, change the subject, okay? But not should, not should, not might and not must. They go in the same form. In the same way, you only change can, can, will, and may. May goes to might, will goes to would, and can goes to could, but not should. Yes. All right. Just uh, don't forget. Don't forget about that. It's really important information. Now, we, we have to deal with the last one. They said that if we kept coming late, we would probably get a notified warning. This one is a hard one. It's a, cha a challenging one. Let's, let's do it. Let's try to do it. Let's try to do it. I know it is a challenging one. Guys, what can you say? If if you keep coming late, sorry. If you keep coming late, not kept keep. Yeah. If you keep coming late, if 
you keep coming late? You would probably get a get notify warning. You you will. You uh -huh. will. Exactly. Probably, probably get get a uh, notify warning. Warning. Yes. If you keep if you keep coming late, you will probably get a notified warning. All right. This one is not a question. Remember that in some cases, in some cases, well. In many cases, we use if and whether for just no questions. If somebody has uh, asked something uh, using just no questions, but in these cases, it's not a question. It's not a. It's not a question. All right. Yes. I know this is difficult, people, especially, especially when everything is mixed, when everything is mixed, or when uh, when uh, the structures are mixed, it tends to be more difficult and confusing. Yes, but we did it very well. Thank you guys for your participation in the examples and all of it. Now we're going to continue working. And uh, the next thing that we're going to do is back in the book. Let me show it to you. Do you see the book right now? Yes. Yes. All right, let me see. Which one was it? Oh, this one. Look, I was telling you about if and, and, and whether that we use them for just no questions. When we use uh, just no questions or short questions, so we use uh, whether or if. But like I said, in that case, it was not necessary to 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 make it a question because it was not a question. Now, let's continue down here with uh, this part. Part number six, building vocabulary. Ma match the terms related to identity theft to the corresponding meanings. We got six sentences, excuse me, six terms right here and six definitions. Let me, re let me read the terms and the definitions and then you will have some time to match them. We got fraud. We got identity theft, two-factor authentication, 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 sorry. Credit report, PIN, or the PIN, and the fraud alert. Let me read the definitions. The first one, it is an extra layer of security requiring not only a password or and username, but also a piece of information on the user, such a such as a physical token. A report filed by a financial institution to signal that some someone may have stolen your identity. Next, criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. Next, an identifying number allocated to an individual by a bank or other organization and used for validating electronic transactions. Next, the fraudulent acquisition, acquisition sorry, and use of a person's private identifying information for financial gain. And the last one, it is a, sta a statement that has information about credit activity and current current debit situation. Now, guys, do you have any vocabulary questions? What's a token? You know what this is? Uh, a code, like a code number. Okay, like a code number, but this one, this one is physical, okay? It's a, like a symbol a symbol, uh, or in Spanish, symbol or señal, and what else? Uh, it can be prueba or muestra. Yes, but that's what it is, all right? Yes, like a symbol. That's the token. Uh, let me see what else we got. Uh, they have something else. 
question. What's allocated? Alocado. <laughs> What's allocated? No? Distributed. Distributed. That's the synonym or a synonym for the word or the verb allocate. In this case, it is a, it's an adjective. It means distribuido. Distribuido. Yes, or, or repartido. But distribuido is, is more common. Distributed. A number, uh, sorry, an identifying number distributed to an individual, all right? Let me see what else struggling acquisition. Uh, no, we got I one that is easy. Okay. All right, we got it. Guys, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to match the terms with the definitions. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go for it. By like three or four, four minutes to do this, do the matching. Guys, let me know.
Done, teacher. Got it. All right. Let's see. Let's begin. Uh, let me see. Read the term number one, of course. Uh, and uh, read the definition that you consider matches with the term. Okay. Yeah, you can begin. You can start. Go ahead. Fraud. It, it fra uh, fraud. It's um a criminal. Um, yes. Criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. All right. Criminal deception intended to result in financial and, excuse me, or personal gain. Guys, do you agree with Emerson on this one? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes, but uh, let me ask, what is deception? I didn't ask you this word before. What is deception? Like uh, disappointed? No. You know what deceive is? The word that I just wrote down, wrote over there, deceive. Do you know the verb? No. The word or the verb is, this one is like lie or mm. cheat. It means mentir o engañar. The word deceive, yes. And the, the word deception is this the noun. La palabra de deception es, es la, like, how do you call it? Sustantivo. It means engaño in Spanish. Engaño, deception. All right. Very good. So this one was number one, right? Number one, it is correct. Criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. Thank you. The second one, another person to read the second one, identity theft. Anyone? Hello. Are you guys sleeping? Uh, I think that is the the fraudulent acquisition and the use of a person's private identify information for financial gain all right so identity theft is the according to ronald i didn't know you were available ronald but it says oyente right there next to your name what i did not know you were available uh, yes i uh, a few minutes i i'm um, available uh -huh. all right it's okay thank you thank you ronald. excellent the fraudulent acquisition and use of a person's private identifying information for financial gain. Yes, he's right. Number three, two-factor uh, authentication. A two-factor authentication. Anyone? Oh, we got, got two minutes. Me, me teacher. Tell me. For me, is it is an extra layer of security requiring to not only a password and username, but also a piece of information on the user, such as a physical token. All right, exactly, exactly. It is an extra layer, see? That's why it says two-factor, like two, two things. So it is an extra layer. You know what layer is? A, a kappa, right? That's what it is. So now the three goes right here or up here yes yes thank you thank you yes oh before i forget down here the word this word is not acquisition is acquisition 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 all right next let's see number four credit reports guys 
Tell me. Credit report. Me, teacher. <laughs> yes. Thank you. And for me, it is a statement that has information about credit activity and current credit situation. All right. It is a statement, the last one. It is a statement yes. that has information about credit activity or end current credit situation. Yes. This one is number four. You are right. Excellent. Number five, the PIN or the PIN, guys. An identifying number allocated to an individual by a bank or the other organization and used for validating electronic transactions. Exactly. An identifying number allocated to an individual by a bank or other or other organization and used for validating electronic trans transactions or any other transaction. Allocated, designado, distribuido. Remember, don't forget about that. This is five. Goes right there, exactly. And the fraud alerts, the last one. Fraud alerts. Guys, fraud alerts, the last one. A uh, report filed by a file by a financial file. institution. File. Thank you. By a financial institution to signal to signal or sign up. Signal to signal. Signal. Okay, thank you. That someone may have stolen your identity. 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 Yes. identity. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, identity. You can say identity or identity, yes. yes. Okay, right. thank you. Very good, very good. Let's see. It says there a report filed by a financial institution to signal that someone may have stolen your information or your identity. It goes right there, number six. Yes, we got it. We got it. Thank you guys very much for... Uh, helping me with the matching, for doing the matching or for working on the matching activity. Now, do you have any last questions about today's session? No teacher, only that we have to practice a lot. I can hear you, Emerson. You say we no, have teacher. to practice a lot? No, no, I don't, I don't have any question, but the only thing that we have to practice a lot. Oh, yes, yes, exactly, exactly. You are right. Yes, we have to, you have to practice a lot. Well, we, because I'm still learning. <laughs> I don't know everything, so we have to practice a lot. Let me tell you that, that yesterday and today I've been watching this Indian movie and they speak English but their English is very weird their accent and everything is hard to understand and I don't I'm not using any subtitles so I find it difficult to to understand very difficult all right let me just take attendance or update the attendance list and uh, you guys will be free to go all right let me just do it Real quick. Bob here. Diego Jose Benitez Leiva. Here, teacher, present. Yes, yes, thank you. I see you listen to me. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present. Present teacher, sorry. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Elisa was not here. Carla Ivana Acheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar. Here, teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. 
Thank you, Marilyn Alejandra Grande was not here today. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano. I'm here. Yes, Rafael Alberto Herrera. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz. And uh, Ronald Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you, everyone, for your presence, for being here today. All right, we just, uh, we just, or we have just concluded one more week. Thank you, guys, for everything, for everything uh, throughout this week. Guys, I will see you on Monday. I wish you the best for this coming weekend. Enjoy it as much as you can with your family, with your friends, or with anyone around you. Have fun. Be careful. Be safe. Stay safe, all right? Smile, be happy, and just have fun, all right? See you on Monday, guys. Take care. Have a good night today. And uh, I wish you the best sleeping time right now. All right? See you Monday, teacher. See you Monday, guys. Take care. Have a nice weekend. Party. Party's on. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Thanks, teacher. See you. See you, Diego. Take care. See you Monday.